Hello everyone, this is JVs here and I'm going to summon in Revive Witch. So in this video, I'm going to spend 1000 souls trying to summon for Flora Dream Stage. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna spend only 10 summon worth of 1000 souls trying to recruit for Flora the dream stage and in this in this situation the UR doll is guaranteed within 70 summons instead of usual 80. I guess it's also kinda included when involving summoning for Cersei Bay which I cannot get any UR. So before we proceed I'm gonna check to Go some redeem first. I'm gonna spend all 10 into a large soul cryolite for redeem so that I can add some extra extra summons if I don't use the 1000 soul summon. Okay, let's proceed about the rules of getting the summon rate. So let's check about the rules first. So the other target drop rate increase for 50% this is the same as usual but only for the Christmas stage and um, Christmas stage flora not that um, original flora that you can receive for free it's a very different different flora the race has 8% and still 40 and 50 this is the explanation for the exclusive summon you are guaranteed system it starts with 80 and if i get the ur down the account will be resetted if it happens to me if i get example if i get the dream stage flora then the rates with this banner will go back to 80 because it's part of the exclusive summon so then let's proceed about how, how the skills of Flora. The first skill is the limelight that costs 2 energy that deals 4 magic damage equal to 100% of attack to all enemies 4 times. Wow. And applies intoxicated to all the targets. Intoxicated that targets takes 30% more damage from Flora for 10 seconds while intoxicated in Flora's performance. Sometimes when I'm do battle, this skill sometimes getting a cooldown. I hope if I can use this four times in a row without any cooldown, then I'm sure this girl is gonna be a beast to use. The second skill is the dazzling stage. It costs like 4 chaos energy. It is a single enemy range that deals magic damage equal to 120% of attack to a single target 4 times. So the enemy will take 480% damage in total which is awesome. After deducting the chaos energy, this skill is consume every one chaos energy left. Increases the damage dealt by 20%. Oh, it's really dangerous every time. Example, if I have 8 chaos energy and uses all of it, then she might gonna be 200% every to a single target 4 times it will be net for the huge 800% maybe if I'm wrong maybe please comment if to remind me if if I'm said it right 200% damage if I use all of the chaos energies and for the passive oh sorry okay let's calm down a bit the passive energy is a rainbow train that after every one dazzling stage scales cast the next dazzling stage consume 3 less chaos energy. If this gets some um, level 2 then it's gonna be I don't know. 
conjunto y les skills energy. Man, this girl is gonna be no the day of every enemy she face. So she is kinda really with a good good doll to have and also really good aesthetic this doll is wearing. Despite she is the different flora from the other original flora. You will know the rest, right? You will know the rest. So, the log about this is uh, just spend and um, do some summons on December 17. And I'm gonna summoning it again. By the way, today is a Christmas Eve. So, have a holidays and have a Merry Christmas Eve. In the second see I'm spending 10 summons on December 17 a week ago and I've got the SSR duplicate of Tama and everything else is just SR while my screen gets darker so I have my apologies for that because it's automatic in Keta oh dear it goes into bright you love to see it so I guess there is no time to waste but before I'm going to finish this video I have some announcement to make regarding that I'm gonna spend every day just to trigger the guaranteed summon rate only in those exclusive rate because I have specific reasons okay in far do ado then let's begin summoning The doll gatherer, I have 30. I know it's SSR sadly. Mori no shihaisha wa atashi da! Elise? Again, Elise. Mori no shihaisha wa atashi da! Yunaniya? Atakushi wa Lunia Kokoku no Ojo Yuriya. Gome wa atashi wa Yutania desu! A cat girl Barbara. Watakushi wa Lunia Kokoku no Ojo Yuria. This is gonna be third girl in our group. Go meiwak de nakereba. Doukou shi o nei-chan to chigatte. Sainou no nai Miku wa motto kibishii shugyou ga hitsuyou nan desu. Miku. Douka goshidou wo onegai shimasu. Itte mi ro. Messi. Mokushou wa Oh, nice. Okay, this is my 30th doll in my account in Revive Witch, and her name is Noi. The Immortal Ove. She is the secret super rare healer. I don't know what her limit she's in, but it's nice to have her. She is really beautiful girl with beautiful wings whatsoever. So it's nice to have this wonderful healer. Next, Yulalia. I Yulia. It's gonna be possible that I'm fully evolved this woman. And I guess if this happens, she is really the same taste of Lunia. Despite she is rare, rare, fatal. Rohaba Oke no Kenshi, Hilda da. Sokoku no Eko wa watashi to tomo ni aru. Okay, it's it's Hilda, and that's the result of my of my um exclusive summons trying to get Flora, the Dream Stage doll or what is you know already because I've written it in the subtitle. So here, it's interesting that I'm trying to get Flora, but it's I expected it that way. In this coming Christmas day, I'm gonna spend all large creolite soul until I get my second UR. 
I guess I'm gonna break things it out for you. Let's face it. It's kinda difficult to do the it's kinda very low to get you are done or maybe the highest rarity rate of units in just one summon. So maybe in the next video I'm gonna do the multi summon and it will be happening on Christmas Day. That's the promise. If I lie then you can dislike this video because I'm a liar. Okay, so that's it for today's summons in this episode. So thank you for watching. So if you like this video then leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more revive which and some other videos and ring the notification bell to get to update for the latest videos so see you in the next special video so merry christmas